Travelling Blade here, back again for another wave vlog. And today, United travel to the Majeski to take on Reading. Now, during midweek, Reading sacked their manager Paul Clement, and today they will have a standing caretaker manager, which is no, no doubt means we will lose. Also, the fact that we're on Sky once again also means we'll probably lose. So, the odds are set against us today in terms of you know things jinxing the match. Reading currently sit, I think it's 21st, just one place above the relegation zone with only goal difference keeping them out. The level points with Millwall that were just inside it. United however, we've just dropped down to six, about 34 points. On paper, really we should win this, obviously six versus 21st. We're having a considerably better season than Reading. At the end of the day, it's United. They've just set their manager. You know, they got a caretaker, well, you know, they got the caretaker manager in. It's live on Sky, so we're almost destined for a loss today. Just based on that thing, just based on those things jinxing it. I mean, we've, we're coming off the back of a very frustrating 1-0 loss to Leeds, where a Dean Henderson mistake cost us the game. That said though, without Henderson's great saves that game, it could have been 2-3-4 probably. Leeds fans tell me we were very dirty. I personally didn't think we were that dirty, but obviously I'm biased, so I'm not going to see it as much as they are. We, we need to pick up because at the minute the game's this spell of form that we're in reminds me of like the tail end of last season where we're just picking up a draw here, a couple of losses there, and the odd win, and it's just and just really letting ourselves down. Like last season when we were like, for instance, um, giving away late goals at home or losing to people like Barnsley, um, it, it's, it's reminiscent of the end of last season at the minute. So we really need a win today just to instill some energy into the team and some motivation and belief so we can you know push on towards the end of the year a lot of games over december we had a very poor december last year i think we picked up four points out of a possible 18. been a bad start to december this year what with losing one nil to leeds on the first of december last week um so we've got to hope for a better december to try and prop up the rest of the season um, team news for united i think clark has got some sort of hip injury apparently not too sure how serious that is. I think Woodburn's got a bit of a knock, but I mean, he wasn't going to play anyway. He'll probably be off to Liverpool in a couple of weeks, having had a poor loan spell with us. So apparently it's going to be um, Sharp and McGoldrick up top. He might mix it up today, I'm not quite sure. Um, I imagine Norwood plays. Um, hopefully Duffy plays. He had a good game at Reading last year, scored a screamer. Um, but I imagine that with the same back line. I think wing backs. I think I think maybe Baldock might come in. I'm not quite sure what to have what to expect there. I imagine it'll be Stevens, and then midfield Matt. There also might be a bit of contention for who starts there. Hopefully it's a good away day. Crap weather at the minute, and hopefully we pick up a win because we're stuttering at the minute and it's not great. in what is a very windy Reading. Yeah, not as cold as last time. Oh Christ, that was horrendous. That was Arctic back in, um, I think it was February. Absolutely horrendous, but it's not as cold as them, but it is windy. I will give it that. All right, so we're here at the Majeski. The lineups are out. Um, for United, the same back four as ever. A few changes. Midfield Duffy has been dropped for Lundstrom. Um, I'm hoping Lundstrom has a good game because he does get a bit of a slate. I'm not Lundstrom's biggest fan. Um, but Duffy hasn't been at his best of late, so hopefully a game out today will help him, you know, get back to his best for West Brom on Friday. And also, um, Sharp has been dropped for Washington, so McGoldrick and McGoldrick and Washington start up front in the midfield three of Norwood. Gonna hold him um, and he, he should have scored a couple. He, he's come very close, but it'd be great to see him score today. And also McGoldrick dying need of a goal and also McNulty starts for Reading so no doubt he'll bag a fucking hat trick or something but yeah hopefully we get a win.
offside. But it's nice to have the running fun to it. Nice and low. Nice and low, you fucking hear. Nice and low, you fucking hear. Nice fucking, these look mate, Ipswich look like Borussia Dortmund. Fuck me. Once again offside. Fuck off! Fuck you know. Fucking hey! Fucking At least it gives the red in front something to cheer about. Bloody hell, but go on. We have a flat game. Left foot. Once again, the final ball is lacking from United. Hey! Half time, ready nil. United nil. Been quite a flat performance from United so far. Um, Reading, shame to say, what we've been 6 versus 21st, that Reading have had the most of the attacking play. Haven't really forced Dino into a save though, I would say. A couple of blocks from the defence, but not, I don't think an actual save. United, when we have got into their final third, we haven't had that many balls into the box. And when we have, they haven't been great. We've got, um, we have scored twice, both have been offside. Hopefully that, you know, that linesman is as keen for when ready to attack in the second half. But it's been quite relaxed for United, really. It's not been that much of a high pressure game. You know, in, in the midfield, we've had quite a decent bit of time and space on the ball. Some of the passes have been a bit stray, but not too bad in overall. But once again, it's just going from actually getting into the final third to actually scoring. Um, we're scoring on side in this game, but I mean, hopefully Reading stay pretty toothless. I mean, they're getting up, but haven't really troubled the goal. They've had some shots, but they've all been blocked pretty much. Atmosphere's crap. I mean, you know... I mean, well, <laughs> atmosphere from the home fans is pretty crap, to be honest. You know, we're doing our best to try and create a bit of noise. Um, but yeah, I'm just hoping that United can just pick up the tempo and a bit more intent in the second half and, you know, actually score an onside goal. Like my kids are one point! Like a goat bitch just now! Like a nice empty shit! Like a greasy chick putty! My shit feels good! So our half time, I think uh, Duffy has been brought on, and I think it's for lunchtime. So hopefully, it gives a bit more of an attacking edge. Oh! Come on! Come on! Quite a bright start to the second half by United. Hopefully, we get more of this. Been a much better start to second half by United. Much, you know, much better attacking play. Oh. 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 A decent effort by Sharp, but he's got to be doing better from there, really. A lot of us thought he was in. And now they're fucking loving it, the Reading fans. Good decent bit of banter going on with them today, but... Pretty flat, pretty flat game to be honest. But we've got Sharp's got to be doing better from there. At least get it on top. Come on! What's he gonna do? This free kick will probably make fuck all of them. Now what are we doing with it now?
absolute scenes in this sense. I think the bloke's about to die here, yeah, he's fucking that many bodies all over the place. It was an absolute tap him. But it's nice to see how fucking attacking play actually leads to something. Um, I think it was Duffy. Then I think McGold got a touch and then Sharp tapped it in. Reading fans already hate Sharp's making all the sweeter. No doubt they'll score in the 89th minute, but let's just see for once we can actually hold on to this. But no, oh, Jesus. Come on! Hey, you're going down with the Wednesday! Down with the Wednesday! You're going down with the Wednesday! Hey. So, full time, Reading nil, United 2. <laughs> Strange game, very flat to start with, at least for United. Um, first half, um, how nil we scored twice, both being offside, which the Reading fans loved. Um, Reading, you know, had more, had, had the majority of the attacking play in the first half. I mean, they were pretty toothless with it. Don't think they had a shot on target. Maybe all game, apparently, I'm not sure. Had very few shots on target. Didn't test Henderson whatsoever, you know few blocks from the defence but apart from that nothing much else. United however we had much less play in the final third in the first half. Um, any, we didn't have that many balls in. Any balls in we did have um, were pretty poor apart from the ones that we scored but they were offside. Pretty much the best bit about the first half was when they put a Beatles track on at half time. Second half we came out we started much brighter. We swapped Lundstrom for Duffy. Don't think it's necessarily Lundstrom's um, fault that we were a bit more, you know, we weren't as attacking the first half. Lundstrom plays more as a CDM. You know, you, you're not going to put Lundstrom on and expect an attacking display. That's not what his job is. That doesn't mean he played bad. That's just not the way he plays. So we brought Duffy on, gave him an attacking edge. Um, we, we, had, we did play better in the second half. You know, we had more of the play in the final third. But yet again, the, bo the box into the box, although we had more, they were still lacking in quality. You know, they weren't clinical enough. So they'd send them in. My goal, they would send them in. My goal was to get near, perhaps, but wouldn't really get his head on it. And then he did get his head on one, but he just headed it into the ground, and it was, you know, a poor effort, really. We had a few in that just, you know, went through everyone. But we had more balls into the box. It was quite promising to see that we actually, you know, had a bit more attacking instinct in us in the second half. A bit more of a creative edge to ourselves. So, you know, it was promising to see. Reading, they didn't really do much second half. Um, yet again, you know, they, in the first half, they had a couple of breaks on us, but in the second half, they didn't have many of them. It was, it was actually Duffy, like I said, he brought the creative spark once again. You know, he did a bit of his uh, zigzagging on the edge of the box, um, turned his defender, sent a ball, and I think McGoldrick, someone else got a touch. I think it might have been Goldrick, McGoldrick slicing a shot. But yeah, I think he took like a touch off of, I don't know if it was McGoldrick slicing a shot. Um, which have to tap in for sharp, absolute scenes in Ireland. Um, 
you know, because we'd had a decent bit of banter with the Reading fans, it was building up. And it was, you know, United yet again quite frustrating, so all the potential was building up. And then we got the tapping from Sharp, who they, who they hate. I'm not quite sure why. I think it's because of the game in the season when he played on and scored rather than playing out for throwing when their play was down. Uh, limbs everywhere, people everywhere. I saw a guy holding his chest. And then it was about three minutes later, we got a corner and it was an own goal by Reading, 2 and up yet again. Everyone was all over the place, people falling over the stairs, the chairs, uh, absolute fantastic scenes. Um, the Reading fans, they just left in the droves. But yeah, it, it turned out to be a good away day. If I could, before we scored, I thought this has got nil-nil or one-nil to Reading all over it. You know, I couldn't see us getting a win. Um, but it just took that bit, a bit of magic from Duff that got us the three points. Ended up turning from a very frustrating and drab away day to a, a, a fantastic and memorable one. It's going to be a tough game on Friday against West Brom but we shall see what happens. Anyway, guys, I'm in the Travelling Blade, and I'll see you for Ipswich away.